<laughs> Guys, you guessed it, we got a new toy. And this is the lossy LMT Gravedigger Monster Truck. Subscribe! Here's a quick size comparison. So this one here is the Mini Max and this one here is a Kraton 6S. So when I first saw this thing released, I was a little bit skeptical. I thought, ah, it's probably just gonna be the same as another Axial SMT10, which is kind of all right. I mean, it's semi-scale, but uh, it kind of sucks a little bit. It's not very durable. So I sort of thought, eh, maybe this is going to be the same. But then I saw a video from Mikey from V2Vids and Tony from CCXRC. And they got one and they bashed it and it took it really well. And I thought, I've got to get myself one. So I did. And check it out, guys. It looks absolutely epic. So just like on a real monster truck, we've got solid live axles, front and rear, four link suspension, a roll cage, great big flotation tires, and a cool name. So the trouble with this SMT10, it's a little bit lightweight, it's not very durable, it's not the best thing for bashing, and it's really slow. And this one here kind of fixes all of that. And the main gripe that I had with this SMT10 is that the diff pumpkins, they're not in the middle. In a real monster truck, the diff pumpkins are always in the middle. On this one, they're not. And guys, that really put me off of this. If you look at this one here, the axle housings have got center diff pumpkins and they look super realistic, just like the sheet metal housings on real life monster trucks. Oh man, you can just tell that this thing is well made. It feels heavy, it's got some weight behind it. Oh guys, I can't wait to try it out. We got a semi-scale, realistic looking RC monster truck and if you can give it a proper beating as well, guys, it's got to be the ultimate toy, and I can't wait to try it out. So let's waffle, and let's get this thing going. Oh, check it out. We've got working headlights, speed controller there, motor there, transmission below it. So it comes with everything you need to get it to run, even AA batteries for the controller. But you do need a 2S or 3S LiPo for the car. Let's have a look to see what we can find. 3S, 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 3S. Look at all those 3S's. And this is where the battery goes. So here we've got some brand new Banggood specials that I've got to review. And a little bit too long. Gen's Ace. Yeah, a bit too long. Fluions. Too long. But we got these smaller Fluions. And yeah, maybe a little bit small. And these Turnergy Rapids, they're all fitting there perfect. By the way, guys, if you want to know where we can get the car from and the batteries then there's going to be a link to all of that down below and it's not dirt cheap but in this video we're going to find out if it's worth it so steering plenty of speed and power oh check out the sinister headlights Guys, I've got no idea what's going on with the audio there. I've got this brand new iPhone, and sometimes it makes me sound like a bleeding Dalek. Don't know why. If you know why, comment down below. It only goes on for a couple of seconds, guys, and it goes back to normal. All right, back to the video. So next, we're going to stick some drywall tape and some shoe goo to the inside of the body. Reason being is that it delays this from happening. So I'll do it to all my RC cars nowadays and it makes the bodies last about 10 times longer. So we're going to chuck some of that on there and then we'll take it out and give it hell and see 
how good and durable it really is. Check it out guys, it still looks realistic even with the body off. And look in there, look, we have a headless driver, which is good, because it means that we can wedge a GoPro in there. Haha, <laughs> footage! Guys, I've been a monster truck fan all of my life, and so much so that after going to Las Vegas and watching the 2015 Monster Jam World Championship, I decided I've got to have one. So I got myself a CRD monster truck chassis, which is actually the same chassis that a lot of the Team Gravedigger trucks use. And I know guys, it's been sat there for a little while now, but I'm just about to order all the parts for it. So this should be complete in hopefully a couple of months. <laughs> I've never been so excited in my whole life. Anyway, less procrastination and more action. So the idea of the hot glue is, is just to tack down the drywall tape while we put on the shoe goo. If you skip the hot glue and just go straight in for the shoe goo, what's going to happen is that this drywall tape is going to start lifting off the body and it's going to start peeling off and it's going to be going all over the place. So doing this makes it a hundred times easier. Boom, all done. Also have a little look inside here, look. I've just put this extension cable in here so, for the lights, because now we can just open and close the body without having to plug it in separately every time. All right, enough waffle, let's go. All right, here we are on location. The snow's out, we've got Ian and Claire in the house. Hey. What do you reckon? You haven't seen this yet, have you? Really cool. You're not dry, run it yet. Only in the workshop, not outside. Doesn't look cool. Ah, I like it. What I like about it, it looks scale. It's got solid axles, but it's supposed to be brushable. And pumpkins in the middle. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> oh, sensitive pumpkins. Yeah. All right, Claire, give it a drop test. <laughs> no, I just fell over. Didn't get it on camera. This is like slippery on here. Oh, double one ball. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh, if they made an X-Max size one, that would be like the best. Ah. Oh. Footage. Oh, to the moon! Oh no, we broke it! Ah, oh, that's it, let's get it now. Oh, oh no, look! Oh dear. Oh, completely snapped the whole actual housing in half. They're laughing over there. Oh, look at it, guys. That was that big jump there, landing over there. It's cold out here. This was in the back of my Land Rover for quite a while. All the plastics are cold. Probably not a good idea. But I see CCXRC just put some alloy ones on there. So I think that might be the solution for this one. So guys, overall, really impressed with this truck. I really, really love it. And I really hope that one day, maybe they're gonna make one the same size as like an X-Max. If they can make something like an X-Max, the same size, the same sort of speed, the same sort of durability, but with solid axles, guys, that would be my ultimate RC. Lossy, please make one. I'm pretty sure that it's gonna be one of the best selling RC cars ever made if you can pull it off. So yeah, a little bit disappointed with the axle that broke early on. You know, it's probably because the weather was cold, but we're gonna fix it soon and we're gonna take it out for some more action. So subscribe and smash the bell so you don't miss it. And for now, I'll see you over on one of these videos here.